Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a worksheet called Mary Bus Equations and the directions say what number is missing from the equation? Check the correct answer. So down here we've got several different equations on these buses and these when you just glance at them look almost impossible because it looks like the number that we're trying to find is right in the middle of the equation. But I'm going to teach you a rule in mathematics called associative property. An associative property makes this possible for us to find this missing answer. Now what associative property is talking about are three numbers numbers that always go together and we call those a number family, okay? And I'm going to give you an example of a number family to start with. So I'm just going to give you the three numbers that go together and the numbers are 5, 2, and 3. And I'm going to put them in a house because it helps us to keep track and organize these numbers. And also, I like to put the biggest number at the top of the house just to keep things organized. And these numbers can be mixed up in an equation in different ways, but they're always going to be in the equation, okay? So for example, I'm going to show you two addition problems and two subtraction problems, and we're going to use these three numbers to plug them in. So when I have an addition problem, I start with my smallest numbers first, and in my house, I always put them at the bottom. So I have two plus three equals, and then my other number is 5, and we know that 2 plus 3 equals 5. In an addition problem, the biggest number is always going to be at the end of the equation or off by itself, okay? Another way that I could write this addition problem is 3 plus 2. It's the same thing, and we've got the same numbers, and again, in the addition problem, the biggest number is at the end by itself, okay? Now for a subtraction problem, we're going to start with the biggest numbers because you can't take away of a smaller number. So we're going to start with 5 minus, and then I'm going to put 2 equals 3. Notice it's my same three numbers from my number family. And then again, I'm going to put 5 minus 3 equals Two. And notice in my addition problem, the biggest number is on the end. In my subtraction problem, the biggest number is at the beginning. And I'm going to leave this up here while we do our first problem to kind of help guide us through this, okay? So I've got two numbers and I don't know the other number. So I'm going to start with my house right here and I'm not sure where to put everything. I don't know what the biggest number is and actually this is kind of confusing because here we've got the answer off to the side so I'm actually going to write it a little bit different. I'm going to write the number minus 5 equals 14. I like to keep everything, all of the numbers that are by themselves off to the right. That just helps me to keep things organized. But this is the same equation right here. I haven't done anything different. So right now I've got question mark minus 5 equals 14. So remember in my subtraction problem the biggest number comes first. So right now I don't know what that biggest number is. So over here in my house I'm going to put a question mark at the top of the house because that's where I keep my biggest number. But I do know the number 5 and I do know the number 14. Now another way that we need to be able to find this is we need to take this question mark or the unknown number and we need to put it over to the right off by itself to the right of the equation to solve the problem. So I'm going to put it by itself, but if the biggest number is off to the right, then I know it's going to be an addition problem. So what are the two numbers that I do know? Well, I know 5 and 14, so I'm going to add those together. 5 plus 14 equals what? I can solve this one because my unknown number is off to the right. So now let's figure out what that is. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 15, and I'm going to make a column of 10s because I have one column of 10 and then 4 units of 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to add these up to find this answer. So I've got 
um, let's just count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So my answer is 19. That's what I think the answer is. I'm going to box it so I don't forget it, but I want to make sure that that's correct, so I need to plug it in here. So 19 minus 5 equals 14. Now we need to check, like the directions say, check the correct answer and make sure it's correct. So I'm going to plug it back in. So we're going to do this. We're going to make 19, a column of 10, and then 9 units of 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then I'm going to subtract 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which leaves me with 1, um, unit of 10 and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which gave me that answer. So that lets me know that 19 was the correct answer. 19 makes sense. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put a check next to 19. So that's how we're going to solve. We're going to use that associative property knowing that three numbers always go together. Now, now that I've told you that, we've got a really tricky one over here because we've got one, two, three, four numbers. So it looks like that it's not going to use the associative property, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this one. I'm going to clear this and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write this out. So I've got two plus something, I don't know what that something is, plus four equals 16. Now since we're adding these together anyway, I'm just going to turn this into one number. So 4 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6, right? So I've got 6 plus something, there's our question mark over here, we don't know what that one is, plus something equals 16. Now we've got one, two, three numbers, although we don't know what this number is. So now I have my three numbers that will go in the house, 6, 16, and something. So I'm not sure what the biggest number is, so I have to think about it. If it's an addition problem, the biggest number is going to be at the end of the equation. So I know that 16 is my biggest number. The other number that I know is 6, and then I don't know the last number. So what we have to do is we have to put this at the end to find the answer. So what I'm going to have to do is make a subtraction problem, right? And in a subtraction problem, we start with our biggest number first. So that's 16 minus, what's the other number we know? 6 equals what? We have to find the answer. So let's draw it out. I'm going to do 16, which is one column of 10, 6 units of 1, okay, 6. And then I'm going to subtract 6, so 1, 2, three, four, five, six, which leaves us with the number 10. And I think that's the correct answer, so I'm going to box it, but I need to go back and make sure because it says check the correct answer. So actually, I'm going to plug it into my original equation, which is 2 plus 10, which is what we think it is, plus 4 equals 16. Let's check and see if that's correct. Let's write this all out. 1, 2 plus 10 plus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 16. Well, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that tells me that that's the correct answer. Awesome job. So even though it looked really hard, we found the answer using the associative property. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one is blank minus 3 equals 12. Okay, so let's figure this out. Blank minus 3 equals 12. Well, in a subtraction problem, the biggest number comes first. So that one we do not know. Okay, the next number we have is 3, and then the last number we have is 12. So now we need to find this number. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this number on the end and then that would mean that we would need to add these two numbers together. So 3 plus 12 equals what? That one we can solve. So let's go ahead and write that out. I've got a one column of tens and two units 
here of ones plus three, which is one, two, three. Add that all together, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I believe that the answer is gonna be 15, but we need to check, plug it back into the original. We've got 15 minus three equals 12. If it makes sense, then 15 is our correct answer. So let's figure this out. We've got one, column of 10, one, two, three, four, five units of one, minus three, one, two, three, which leaves us with 10, 11, 12. So that's correct, that's the number I came up with so that I know that 15 is my correct answer here, okay? All right, let's go on down to our yellow bus. We've got seven equals nine minus something, okay? Seven equals nine minus something. So, because this is confusing me, I always want that one number off to the right. I'm gonna write it as nine minus something equals seven. That's just something that helps me to keep it organized, okay? So, I've got a subtraction problem. I've got my first number. I know that that first number is gonna be the biggest number in a subtraction problem. So, in my house, I'm gonna put my number family and my nine is my biggest number, so he goes up on the top. The next number, I don't know, and then I've got a seven, okay? Can I solve this? Well, I can't solve it like this. I have to change it so that this number, this unknown number over here, is over to the right or the end of the equation. And I can't do an addition problem because that won't give me the answer. I'm actually just gonna switch this number and this number. So I'm actually gonna do nine minus seven equals and then my number, and that way I will find the answer. So let's write this out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, nine, minus seven, so subtract seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, gives me the answer two. So I think that's the num number that goes in my number family here, but I wanna check and make sure. So let's go back to our original problem. We've got nine minus two, equals seven. Let's make sure, let's write it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minus two, one, two, should equal seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It does, so that tells me that two is my answer. So I'm gonna put a check next to two here. We're almost done. You're doing a great job using the associative property, okay? Now we've got another tricky one because it looks like we have four numbers here, but don't get confused because these two numbers can actually become one number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write out my problem. So I've got five equals something, an unknown number, plus three plus one. Okay, so again, I wanna put my five or that lone number off to the right. So I'm gonna rewrite it, something plus three plus one equals five. And I need to make these into one number because right now I have four numbers and I wanna combine them. So we're gonna add these together. Three plus one is four. So, so far I have a five and a four. Something plus something equals five. Five. So let's draw out our little house and see where everything goes. So I've got um, five and four. Now let's think it's an addition problem and so that means my five or my biggest number will be on the end. Okay, so that goes up at top and I've got four. Now I need to figure out what my other number is gonna be here. So I'm gonna take something plus four equals five. Well I need that something off by itself so that means that I need to do a subtraction problem starting with five, which is my biggest number. So five minus four equals what? Well, you might already know the answer to this, but let's draw it out just in case. One, two, three, four, five minus four. One, two, three, four leaves me with just one. So I think this is my answer, but I'm gonna check it and I'm gonna plug it into my original problem. So we'll say one, plus three plus one equals
equals five. And if this is correct or makes sense, then I will know that one is the correct answer. So one, two, three, four, five equals five, right? So that is the correct answer. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a check next to the number one. Great job, that was a lot of work to go through this, but you did an awesome job today. Bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.